What a beautiful month we are in. It is the month of April. And many of you, listen to me, are born in this month of April. I have good news for you. The Spirit of God declares this as a month of light. Why is the month of light? Because it's the month for you to shine. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16, it says, Ye are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. And so, this is why when I reflect on that song, people sing, Send the light, send the light, send the light, O Jehovah, send the light into our heart. I realize they're asking for me because he already says, I am the light of the world. So, if you're born in the month of April, and if you know, as I'm speaking to you right now, you're expecting something from God, I have good news for you. Because Jesus says to tell you, in this month, you will shine. In verse 16, he says, let your light so shine. It's a command, it's an instruction. It's not a choice. He said, let your light so shine. In other words, the light is already in you. You are in the light. And so now, I want to pray for you. But before I pray for you, I want to let you know this. That in this month of April, as you begin to shine, remember this. You cannot be hidden. Remember this. You are understanding where there's confusion. Remember this. No one, no being, no power has the power, the capacity to prevent you from being who God has called you to be. The light of the world. Where there is darkness, be the brightness. Where there is failure, be the success. And I pray for you today that as you hear this word, the faith of God will arise in your being. And the word of God will stir you up that you begin to speak his word. Which will produce the light that will bring understanding where there is confusion. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your children as they listen to me right now. I pray that in all their ways, they are bright in Jesus' name. In all their activities, in their business, in their finances, in their job, they shall be the light where there is need in the name of Jesus. In their families, they shall shine in the name of Jesus Christ. They are lifted up, O oh God, high, far above principalities and powers. And then they remain in the name of Jesus Christ. As I pray now, there is a lady, I look at you now, you have a fibroid condition. I rebuke the fibroid and I command it to disintegrate from your body in Jesus' name. I pray for you that listens to me right now. You're saying, man of God, if this is true, what about my case? You have suffered from a condition for a long time that has prevented you from using your left hand properly. I command the healing power of God to come upon you now. Stretch that hand and begin to use it again. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for you who listens to me right now. You were in an accident. And after the accident, you have spasm. Uh, you have a, a period where you go into unconsciousness. I command that devil to leave you now. Now that you are free in Jesus' name. Many of you listening to me right now, miracles are already happening to you. Some of you are going to go to sleep now. You're going to see an angel appear to you. You're going to see Jesus come to you and minister healing to you. There's somebody you're listening to me right now. You're going to have a dream. And in your dream, you're going to see someone come and come conduct an operation in you. It is because you have suffered from barrenness for a long time. But tonight, as you hear these words today, health comes back to you in Jesus' name. Life comes into your body. Receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus. In a double proportion, it is yours. You will receive the fruit of the womb. And congratulations, they shall be twins. Finally, before I go, I want to pray for someone who is listening to me right now. You're saying, this young man, how are you sure what you're saying is correct? Your name is Joseph. And you are living in the country of Namibia. You can hear me right now. The Lord says to tell you, you are stricken with HIV. But this month is your month of, is your birthday. Hear the word of God. The power of God is upon you. You're listening to me. You're feeling a sensation goes through you. Receive the healing power of God. Be healed. Be made whole. You're restored in Jesus' name. One, one more person before I leave. The spirit of God is wonderful. What a wonderful evening. You know, you have a condition called elef elephantiasis. You have a swollen right leg. And this has caused a lot of problems for you. In fact, your home has been broken as a result. I release the power of God from you and I command it to pass out of your body in the name of Jesus. Be healed and be free and be restored in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you because you have visited your people in power and in might. I pray that this month of your birthdays, they will celebrate continuously in Jesus' name. And they that laugh with you, celebrate with you. Congratulations. Enjoy. Jesus is alive.